guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is gonna be featuring this look. Napaka dark. Sing dark ng budhi ng ibang tao. Char! So, this is a collab video with a Fun Fearless Beauty, um, aka Coco. Um, so, hindi ko alam kung paano kami naging friends. Para may message ko lang yata siya sa Instagram. Or siya ba nag-message sa akin? I'm not so sure. Or baka ako nag-message sa kanya. I'm not so sure. Basta nagka-message lang kami sa Instagram. And then, we found out that we're both Filipinas. And so, we became Instagram friends. And then, exchanged kami ng numbers. And then, since then, we were, we've been texting. And we've decided to do a collab featuring this Jaclyn Hill palette. ta -da! So this is the most recent palette that she launched um, in partnership with Morphe. I believe this cost $38 and this features 35 beautiful eyeshadow shades. I'm gonna quickly pause this video right here to let you guys know that this palette is now available for good and is already available at Ulta. So, yay! So, when we were talking about our collab, we were thinking about um, fall makeup or kung ano ba yung magandang look featuring this palette kasi ang dami nang nag-review nito. Ang dami nang nag-post ng tutorial ng everyday makeup look, fall look. And so, we thought of creating a fall grunge makeup look para maiba naman. Anyways, this is the fall grunge makeup look that I came up with. And if you guys want to see how I came up with this look, just keep on watching. I'm gonna begin with prepping my face using this Mario Badesco facial spray. I'm just gonna wait for my face to dry up and then I will apply this Too Faced Hangover Primer. I really love this primer because it comes with a pump and it's very easy to travel with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this Maybelline Master Strobing Cream to add a natural looking glow in this look. When I'm in a hurry, what I do is I mix my strobing cream with my foundation so it's so much quicker and easier to apply. But if you have oily skin or very oily skin, I don't recommend you guys do that because that's just going to make your skin look more oily. So the foundation that I'm going to be using today is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 320 or Natural Tan. This foundation is light to medium coverage because you will see all of my veins there peeking through. It's not sheer because it can definitely cover up your blemishes but it's also not full coverage. You can probably build it up but I personally don't want to do that because I don't want it to cake up in the middle of the day. I just don't have time for that. Then I'm going to set it with a Maybelline Fit Me Powder. By the way, I am in the shade 310 or Sun Beige. Don't worry if you look a little bit lighter than usual because we're going to bronze it up a little bit later on. Now let's proceed to Key Eyes. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a separate brow tutorial on my current brow routine. Now let's move on to the eyes and today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. And if you notice, I have already played with it. It looks dirty. It definitely looked way prettier and cleaner when it, when it came in. But I have already played with most colors like this one and this one. <laughs> They look so abused. Anyway, so one thing I, I love about this palette is, is there are a lot of colors to choose from. If there's something that I would want to change in this palette, that's probably the packaging. The packaging is all white and don't get me wrong, I love white. It's really pretty but it gets so dirty so easily. Anyway, so this is the palette we are going to be using today and like what I mentioned, this is going to be a fall grunge palette. 
I did look up some inspiration on Pinterest and most of the pictures that showed up feature smoky look and really dark lips and I really hope I can pull it off. So yeah, wish me luck. As always, I'm going to be priming my lids using my Cosmetics Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. My eyeshadows never crease every time I use this eyeshadow primer or eyeshadow base. If you don't have this, you can always use any concealer you have. I'm going to be using this shade to set my lids. Okay, my shadow ma impress guys. Hindi yan totoong Zoeva. I got this from Cash and Carry. 310 pesos ang set. Hanapin niyo baka meron ba. Bonga. Next, I'm going to be using this shade which looks like brown but kind of look like red too. I have no idea what it is, but this color Next, I'm going to dust off all the eyeshadow that fell on my face when I was applying the eyeshadows earlier to make sure that you don't have crazy fallouts under your eyes. Now that I'm done with this eye, let me go ahead and fast forward and I'm just going to finish this eye and then we'll proceed with the next step in this tutorial. Now on to eyeliner and today I'm going to be using this Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So I'm just currently drawing my wing liner. I thought of doing a wing liner today because we are doing a dark fall look. And I thought the wing liner would be perfect for this look. In a few seconds now you will see me struggling with my winged eyeliners. And what I always do when I make mistakes with my eyeliners is I just use some q-tips to clean it up or to fix my liner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this eye look using EV Advance Lash Define Mascara. I love this mascara because it's dual ended. Di ko alam kung bakit nga talaga ako kapag bumaw mascara ako. Kaya din ba? All right, so we're done with the eyes, and this is how it looks like. Next, we are gonna contour a little bit. And for the highlighter, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter, Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Bam. Alright, we're done with the base, the eyes, the cheeks, the brows, and everything else. Now we just have one more step and then we are done with this look. And that is the lips. I actually have three options for you guys. The first one is this NYX Laundry in the shade Teddy. If you are from the Philippines, the second option is perfect for you. This is the EB Advance LTD Liquid Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Truffle. This is a really pretty color and very budget friendly. The third and the last option is this Maybelline Spurs Day Matte Ink in the shade Escapist.
Kala, katong lipstick na to. Ganyan na lang kaya. So that completes this video guys. I'm gonna finish this video with this really dark lipstick from Maybelline. I think it's a really pretty lipstick especially for fall grunge look or for the Halloween if you just want to go bold. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Fun Fearless Beauty's YouTube video to see her take on the fall grunge makeup look. As always, I appreciate your love and support. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! See, whenever you pull it from the tube, it has that little... <gasps> Where is it? I think this has 35...